now. What is the use of our mailboxes if nobody puts stuff in mailboxes? Tea party, okay. Dearest princess, the Winter Kingdom hereby invites you to a princess tea party. We very much hope you can make it. Please meet at the Winter Kingdom Waystone at 10 a.m. EST on June 30th. Please bring only one escort and arrive on time so we can sip... sip blah, 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 I can't even speak. So we can begin sipping some tea promptly. Yours truly, Princess Loralia. Oh. Okay. Well, that's in the morning. I'm glad I checked it now. So, man, I have so much stuff in my inventory. I'll have to clean that out. Let me see if I can find... Is that Nimbus? Nimbus! 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 Uh, oh. <laughs> Do you have a firework? Oh. Where are you? There we go. I'm here. I'm here. Hello. Oh, wow, you got some Hello. trimmed armor. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's fancy. Just uh, I just went out exploring a little bit, you know, doing mm -hmm. the usual, keeping up in shape as a knight. Ah, oh, yes. Now I heard mm -hmm. from a little birdie that you went on a date too. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I oh, how'd that go? Mm -hmm. It went pretty well. It went really good. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy. Yeah. So, uh, I just got an invitation mm -hmm. to a princess tea party. Okay. And since okay. you're the lucky one awake and up and ready, because it looks like it's already daytime, so that means it's time mm, for the tea yeah. party. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, or well, about time, then... anyway. Okay, so where are we headed then? The Winter Kingdom. All right. Now keep, All right, sounds good. Keep your uh, wits about you, because... Uh, that place takes a lot out of you. How so? I mean, usually I'm quite um, prepared for any sort of environment, Your Highness. Yes. Let's just say the word I look for is slightly laggy. Ah. So okay. cool. So just cool. be Got just it. be careful. Alright, yep. At least I have my expectations tendered. Slightly. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been here in quite some time, but it is quite beautiful. Yeah, they've done a lot. Mm hmm. Yep. I don't know where we go. Yeah, I was thinking they would just stop by there because they would think that if the other kingdoms were invited as well, they'd probably come escort us at some point. Yeah, true. I guess we can just sit here and wait. Hmm. So. How's your guard training going? Oh, well, it's been great. It's been great. Doing a lot of training. Even went on a bit of cross country. I without using my wings, I just went across the lands. It was, oh, wow. it was pretty good. That's pretty Very cool. nice. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Hello. Was, what? Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, how are you guys been today? <laughs> uh, good. Not too bad. Good. Yourself? Good. I'm good, thank you. Um, Princess mm -hmm. Lorelia is just over at the tea party area. If you'd like to follow me. Oh, yes, of course. Thank right. you. Right this way. Right this way, Your yeah. Highness. Um, oh. uh, uh, Princess Rain and her knight have arrived. Greetings, welcome. Hello. Hello. Princess Rain. Nice to meet Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you for coming. Nice, nice to meet you. What was your name again? Sorry? Uh, Nimbus. Nimbus Tom. Nimbus. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, Nimbus. Welcome mm -hmm. to the Winter Kingdom. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Well, we're just waiting on everyone else to arrive. You guys seem to be the first. Thank you for arriving promptly. Of course. It's much appreciated. Uh, this is where we'll be having the tea party here. Oh. If you have any dietary restrictions, we have Bryn here to assist. Oh, okay. uh, we are just can't eat meat. Yeah, yeah. there's no meat awesome. in there. Awesome. Um, if you want to stay with Lorelia, I'll go check the waystone. Yeah, of course. Over. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Otherwise, we could wait at the Waystone for people to arrive, but... Oh, so we'll welcome then, you yeah. Prefer. Yeah, yeah, let's just go wait over there and see. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, let me maybe send a missive to say that we're ready, but... Or we might have to wait for High Lady Morrigan. 
she, she's taking her time, as, as she should. Yes. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> listen, people can be fashionably late, it's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me see if I have received any other word. Well, how has it been since reviving your latest member? Uh, yeah. Um, she's taking her time with it. Um, hmm. Yeah, they do act a little odd. The yeah. first. Well, forever. Yeah, yeah. Really. She, she, I think she's taking it a little uh, difficultly. But yes. she, um, she's been sleeping a lot. Which, I mean, mm-hmm. I guess is understandable, because I don't, I don't know if, like, when you're dead, if, if, like, you really sleep, or you just, like, stay up on, I don't know. I don't know those. I don't know. I, my I, sister was actually revived oh, by Morgan as well. Really? Yes, and she was never quite the same afterwards. Yeah. She came back, and she definitely looked different. Which, I mean, I guess yes. it's to be fair, she's she's been dead for, she was like dead for like a month or so, a month, month and a half, <laughs> Well, that would do it to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could only imagine if someone tried to bring someone back that had been gone for years. Yeah, I would just be careful. She might not be the same, if that makes um, sense. I've, I've definitely noticed that. She's uh, a lot sassier. And she was yes. pretty sassy before, so believe me. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> the the sass level is through the roof. Um, well. so I haven't seen her too much since the revival, um, because she's been sleeping oh, really? and just kind of keeping to herself. Um, but I'm I'm just trying to give her time to adjust. I mean, it's only been a week or two now. How many? Two? Two? Yeah, yeah. A week or two? Yeah. And um. It, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, it, it it'll yeah. take some time to adjust, and yeah. Well, keep me updated, and if you need any advice, let me know. I have been through this quite similar situation before. Thank you. I appreciate your help and your yeah, advice no as well. Now, where is everyone else? They are late. I don't know. Not I don't really. like it when people uh-huh. are late. Ask them in the letter to arrive promptly. This does yeah. not seem prompt, does no. it? No, it doesn't. Well, to be fair, uh, punctuality is one of our is one of the things we stick by mm-hmm. in Stratus. Well, yes. I admire you for that. It is an amazing quality to have that some people lack. This I mean, true. it kind of makes sense with the order of how people arrive. Usually, the winters are first. They've been the first at every event so far, and then it's the. Mm. Then it's the seraphs, and then it's the the elves, then it's the mermaids, and then it's finally the blazeborns. Well, guess we're just the most polite then. Yeah, that's true. Unlike, yeah. Uh, <laughs> or we're just or we're just too anxious to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's also yeah. fair. Actually, I mean, you never know. For the big light. I mean, you never know. People oh, yeah, probably no. are preparing uh, preparing something. Yeah. Well, no, no. hopefully. In other news, did you receive the mm. gossip column? Oh, yes! I did! We did. Uh, we did. We hit it under the stairs early. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you hit it under the stairs? Yeah, we wanted to tidy it. up the... We wanted to tidy up the waystone area. Ah. Uh, you know, that's fair. <laughs> that That is fair. I, I want to yeah, know who's well, writing it. I want to get in on that. It, mm. There's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, you know, I mean, good for Morgan. Someone right? over here was oh, also yeah. in it. Oh, yeah. I don't think I read you the the, the gossip column. Wait, what? Oh. No. Uh, what we uh, uh, here, I have it on me. Actually, <laughs> should I go get it? Oh, oh. what's this? It's oh. the gossip column that came. Lies and secrets. <laughs> Wow, you're fast at reading. Yeah. Wedding wedding Mm. Wedding bells. There's already wedding bells? Okay, interesting. Already make it. Oh, look, it's it's snowing. How wonderful. Lovely. During the two or more couples emerge from the. Huh, okay. (laughs) Interesting how that got (laughs) there. Yeah. 
I they mean, make me a delightful. Max is they make a delightful. Gossip, I literally announced it. They make a delightful pet. While well, I appreciate someone I writing, uh, while well, I appreciate <laughs> someone writing, they make a delightful pair. Yes, I mean you guys do make a That's delightful it. pair. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we enjoy spending spending time with each other. I mean, Aww. to be fair, I mean it's to be cute. fair. To be fair, the first time we uh, the fir the very first time we met, I think they were visiting the kingdom at some point. I uh, didn't really pay much attention, but then we're, when we were at the ball, I heard I heard Omiko sing, and I don't know, it just it was special. Oh, Aww. I got a tear in my eye. Oh that is the oh, most so adorable oh thing I have ever heard. That is so sweet. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry, I've been really emotional. With the snow, so got the atmosphere as well. <laughs> the snow is so great. I wish everybody could have heard <laughs> that, snow but they missed so it. Pretty, I love it. Mm -hmm. so what better than rain, at least. Yeah, better than yeah. rain. Like even oh, oh no, no, Princess Rain! No, not Princess Rain! The weather, the weather, the weather, the weather. R A I R. You gotta make sure you ha you put your context in. Rain, that rain, the weather. Thank you, thank you. What is really ironic is yeah, myself and Bryn live in the one place that it rains in the winter. Yeah. Oh no! You, might you go to near my bakery and suddenly it's water instead of the pretty snow. Oh, oh that is so sad. The snow is quite slushy beautiful. Slushy snow. Oh, oh god, I hate snow. that. Oh god. Wow, you go you guys don't like rain either. Like the the rain, they, they, the, no, the wet rain. It's um, it's yeah, one of our laws yeah, not, not to. It disrespect yeah. disrespects our uh, previous king. Does it well, count I'm for glad snow? we agree on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, it helps us keep it helps keep us grounded mm -hmm. in some ways because we spend so much time in the air. We sometimes forget what the ground feels like. This is true. Yeah, okay, it's oh. a good way of looking at it. Plus, it makes our wings kind of heavy. Mm. I would I would imagine so. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they um. <clears throat> um. I have a bed. I, I always have a bed on me. Do you not? Do you have, wait, hang on. It takes oh. up a lot of space in my backpack. It's weird. Oh. oh. There we go. Oh. Uh, oh. Everyone got beds on them. Uh, oh. oh. I worked. There we go. Oh, I well, gotta I have a bed on me. <laughs> I should have a bed on me, but I never do. Me <laughs> neither. I mean, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta take a quick nap in the middle of yeah. uh, doing what you're doing. I don't really think that far ahead. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, we, we <laughs> I really do. should. I'm but... anxious as hell. We should, shouldn't we? I just, nah. I, I feel like I never sleep. I don't even think I slept last night. Oh, well, we gotta keep away the phantom somehow. Yeah, I'm really bad about that. Well, that's what well, Nemesis is for. I you know, time. I haven't seen phantoms in a long time. Really? Yeah. I, I think there's you know, I think. They they oh. might have went extinct. Hello, oh, hello. Hello, your hello. Highness. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, Princess Lorelia, thank you for the invitation. Lorelia. Um, I have a gift I brought for you. Oh, you are late, so. Yes. Uh, apologies oh. for that. Well, thank you. Um, I did state to be prompt and on time. Uh, yes, apologies. I, um, had to prepare some things. Well, um, hopefully Hi Lady Morgan arrives soon as well, and then we can get started. I can't believe I called the order of who's going to <laughs> <laughs> you did indeed. You did. <laughs> I did. Mean, I really did call the order of who was gonna arrive. I have a feeling Morgan just got out of bed. <laughs> Never go. mind. Oh, she went back like, in. No. <laughs> she felt like it's, it's just a weird feeling I have. I don't know what it is. Just the <laughs> weirdest feeling that she woke up and crashed straight back into. Are you a seer? <laughs> Can you? Can oh you tell? I, I, I don't that's, know. That's it pretty makes cool. sense, you know. Uh, you're you're covering your face. Maybe there's like one big eye underneath there. Oh. 
You've seen well, I guess... my hair. There's nothing other than like. Well, I guess that's some sort eyes. of advantage. Mm -hmm. That's some sort of advantage that nobody can predict what you're uh, what you're thinking. Nobody can really read your mind per se. It's mm -hmm. mostly my hair is mostly like this because it's too thick to do anything else. I don't know what that's to tell fair. you. Hair is very right. difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. It's like a we. It's like. It's not exactly hair, it's a weird mix of fur and also hair. Because, mm. you know, my dad is just a normal cow person, and my mom was like. humanoid. Uh. So, it's like a weird mix, and it doesn't bode well with styling. I think the best thing I can do is like an emo hairstyle with one with hair over one of my eyes like pinned over but like that's the best i can do <laughs> um well Bryn, do you want to ask if they have any dietary requirements uh Go on I, I i know that elves don't really have many they just can't really kill animals mm, correct okay i know that from hanging around theo hmm well, should we maybe sit down and we can come pick her up when she arrives? Yep. That works for me. I bring okay. cake! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, never mind, someone. All right. Well, uh, well, uh, I, I, are you I, I brought you one sweet berry cheesecake and the rest is just normal cake. Oh, do you want to uh, put it on the table for us, yeah, maybe? Yeah, on the table. And then we can... Yes. Yes, 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 we'll yes, yes, yes. We'll head over to where we're going yeah, to yeah, have yeah, a tea yeah. party and yeah. then when... Hi, Lady Morgan arrives. We can. I'll come and welcome her. Okay. Yeah, for you. Oh, that works. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I couldn't you. place it in the middle. Um. Unfortunately. That's okay. Ooh, melon juice. But it just needs to be around you, anyways, because everyone else can just eat the slices. Awesome. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Um, hey. Brian will be our waiter for this evening. So anything you need, please ask him. And Morgan, I might just send Morgan a missive to see how she's going. Okay. Yeah. Well, how um, have you been doing, Jane? I was just about to ask you the same question. Um, I've been doing okay. Um, just you know. How's is that a secret, or can I speak freely? Uh, no. Princess Lorela already asked in front of everybody, so. Um, it's fine. I mean, it's just our I don't know. knights and yeah. closest companions, so it's fine. I mean, um, I was one, I was she's I she's doing okay. A little bit rude for she's taking some time adjusting. Um, uh, she's been yeah, sleeping really. a lot. Okay, sure, sure. And she's very sassy now. Like, oh. Yeah, like okay. she she was sassy before, but she's really sassy now. By the way, uh, Nimbus don't. Mm -hmm. I don't really yeah. by that. I think it's Hi, just I'm you know, Captain Kaya drama. Nice to meet you. So mm. nice like to meet you. But okay. We're glad to have her back. <laughs> it's just gonna take some time for her, I think. Yeah. So, um, how have you been doing? I'm doing all right. I believe I will probably be making um my quote-unquote comeback mm -hmm. to the elven kingdom shortly well that's good to hear um Princess i'm sure um okay if we say your kingdom has missed you okay, cool. okay. So. yeah i think it's about time that i return good did you see the gossip column Yes, I did. Well, it was kind of crazy. Yeah, I I don't know who was compelled to write such a thing. Um, this is true. But <sighs> as if I already didn't feel like people were talking behind my back, now I know more people are going to be talking about things. Well, I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing. And I know... I just don't you know. appreciate it being 
thrown around in a pamphlet that's given to everyone. No, that's definitely understandable. If someone has questions, I'd rather them come to me in person and ask them. That's understandable. I don't think that um, I would like that either. Maybe we need to track this person down. Yeah, they didn't sign an any name. Yeah. So I have no idea. But probably so they don't get caught. Mm -mm. Well, interesting that they don't want to be caught. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's another post in gossip column. Um, Bryn is our waiter for this evening, so if you have any dietary restrictions, please run it by him. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see um, you too. I am fine on dietary restrictions. So. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Lucky you. Uh, is it assigned seating? Uh, no, just anywhere. Okay then. Sure. Ah, uh, I may as well just sit here then, it would make more sense. There's four of us. Ah. Hmm. But the lamp to... seems to be on the As... way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, so now okay, I can we just do now some quick, see. quick renovations. Um, <laughs> pop it. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> on, on the bright side, the cake can well, now be I in the middle. Now I have something to, to <laughs> yeah. stare at. Yeah. The cake. Well. The cake can now be yeah. in the middle. Yeah. True. Actually. Oh, but how do we? I don't break it. Can you? Was it you know? I don't know that you can. Without uh, it. Well, I guess it stays then. <laughs> no, uh, oh. Oh. Uh, uh, so touch did not work. So well, touch didn't oh, work. there went the cake. Um, <laughs> what were you? What were you wondering about the, the cake? <laughs> if it can be placed well, in the middle. Oh, yeah, uh, I tried. Oh, like it didn't work. Let me see if I can. Let me see. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not working. Ah, <laughs> oh, it must so be the sorry. table. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I'm I'm so sorry. It it has to be. <laughs> I don't know That's why. Okay. Well. Good to see you, Rain. You as well. Thank you. I hope uh I hope things are going well. Uh yeah, they're they're going. Uh taking some adjustments, of course, but um they're pretty good. Considering. Good. Yeah. Glad it's going semi smoothly. Yeah, I mean, as smoothly as it can coming back, so. Yeah. So, well, uh, as I told you before, I have been through the same. So, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. No worries. Cause yeah, she's a little, little extra, a little extra sassy. Yeah, it does. That does tend to happen. Yeah. Weirdly, the galaxy was very sassy before. <laughs> so extra sassy now. I apologize in advance if any of you uh speak to her. Because <laughs> her don't worry. She um her tongue can be quite sharp. <laughs> Let's say that. Oh, yeah. So, hopefully, still respectful. Um. <laughs> yes. Yep. As respectful as you can. Yeah. After yeah. dying. Yeah. Yeah. So. I assume we're in trusted company then. Um. Speak of such well. Things. As trusted as you can be. Um, how has everything else been? Good, good, um, yeah, nothing, well, all right. How has the Nether Kingdom been? Oh, you know, hot, uh, <laughs> interesting, to say the least. Interesting. Yes, um... In regards to uh, my my 
don't, uh... They might not have as sharp as tongues, but... They have, uh, they have opinions. Uh, hmm. wants. Um... Something that I, uh... There's something I wish to discuss. Oh, oh. but that can be heard later. Um, get into serious stuff right away, right? That's you. Wow. Well. This is okay. open as any. It's open forum, if you have anything to discuss. I would love that. Um, but, like I said, it can be later. It doesn't have to be necessarily right now. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, a tea party is not complete without a couple secrets, maybe? Some tea, some might say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rain, do you have any secrets, maybe, that you've never told anyone? It can be big or small, doesn't matter, really. Um... Very forward question of you, Aurelia. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just it's just a tea party. I feel like uh, I I've pretty much told all my secrets. They're out there in the open, so maybe not outright mm. said, but um, I'm sure everyone has some secrets they're hiding. Um, I have any. For you, so that would satisfy you. <laughs> um. oh. oh, the fog. Oh, hi. oh no. the fog. There goes my fiance. Oh, oh. never mind. <laughs> oh, fiance. Oh, fiance. Oh, yeah, you weren't there for the art. Well, that's yeah, a the art thing. There we go. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite you and Lena, but um. Yeah, yeah, no. Thank uh, you. I, 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 got, I, got, I got engaged to, to Max not too long ago. Um. Uh, uh, congratulations, you both. Thank Hi. you. Yes, congratulations. I didn't. This is the first time I'm hearing of this, too. <laughs> I think was I knew it, about it at the art festival, right? That was. That's. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. when I, you know, that's when I, that's when I kind of popped the question. Uh, <laughs> well, no, that's not what I popped. The, uh, it was it was before, but um, but uh, I was uh, max one, and I was like, that's my boyfriend. Oh wait, no, I can say this now. That's my fiance. And then, and that I, I oh. announced it that way. Oh yes. Well, congratulations again. Definitely though. need to celebrate. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we uh we're we're picking out a spot. We're going through the motions, you know. Mm -hmm. It was a fun little event mm. too. Wedding planning yeah. can be tiring. I um, apologies that I didn't not make it to the art contest rain. Oh, that's so totally okay. Mine too. I don't think I was yeah. able to make it either. <laughs> that's okay. I was able to. That's okay. Um, I'm sure it was great. It was. It was, uh, we had quite a good turnout, um, and I think someone from each kingdom came and submitted an art piece, which are still up in Perfect. the library on the second floor, uh, if any, anybody wants to see them. Um, great. Yeah, I believe Lady Lena actually submitted an art piece. Uh, yes, yeah, she was telling me. It was, um, it was beautiful, actually. Well, I really liked that. Well, as well. One of my favorites, sure actually. Let her know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I saw her. I believe either from her return, she had a very wintry outfit on. Oh. Talked to her and was like, or not a wintry outfit. Um. She had a different outfit on. The winter outfit was for the um, festival that you. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Um, oh, I, our fashion is quite lovely, so I'm glad she took inspiration. <laughs> I, I saw her there. The festival was very fun, but I, I didn't see you there. Um, Princess Nor Lina. I. I was researching. Thanks, oh. Anything yeah. in particular? Yeah. 
yes. Um, but we can discuss that another time. Oh, okay. Oh. Anyways, um, secrets. <laughs> Margaret, do you Tea. have anything <laughs> you've never Tea. told Tea. anyone before? It can be anything, big or small. Do you still sleep with the nightlight? Do you <laughs> I did, have a actually. guilty pleasure? I did. Oh, sleep yes. The it was V Lamp. Um, that was V Lamp. I had given up. Yes, that was lovely. That's, so, um, that, that's fair. Because I still slept with the, uh, the sheep plushie that uh, my mom had given me. So. Yeah, it's quite dark in uh, in the Nether, so and I mean in the Overworld as well. So having something near and dear, close to give comfort is always. Amazing. Yeah, do you have a day night cycle in the Nether? No, actually. Um, huh. Hence why I'm late a lot. Um, yes, uh, that's hard fair. to tell time. <laughs> and unfortunately, I I believe. I want to say clocks do work, but I have a strong feeling that they don't, and compasses don't work in the, uh... In oh. The... Oh. Well, So, I... don't find yourself lost there. <laughs> well, don't worry, I probably won't find myself there ever. Yeah, that would be quite, quite dangerous. Yes. Um, and I would prefer not to. That's fair. Um, I would, uh, hope that is, uh, reminded of all of everyone's subjects late um i guess it's something that we can talk about if you want it does lead into the sure. serious conversation that i wanted to have so not sure if uh we wish to dismiss the knights for a a, a minute Some i would like there. to keep my knight here um but I don't mind what he hears. Interesting. Um, do you mind if I put him on the hot seat then for a second? Um, Night Max, could you step up to the table, please? Uh, yeah. Where do your... Uh, sorry, I'm talking to you. Where are your loyalties currently? Uh, with Princess Aurelia. That seems to have changed since the end. Care to tell why? Changed? Um, Solstice and I got into an argument. What about? Uh, clothes. Clothes? Clothes. Um, they were clothes that I was not aware hold sentimental value. And I wore them, and he was not happy. Hmm. So, should you and Solstice have any means to rekindle a friendship in the future and set aside differences, where does that leave you in the Raelius court? Well, Solstice and I have recently rekindled our friendship, and despite that, I am still loyal to the Raelia. I am unaware as to why this is relevant. Oh, it's no, it's no secret that I do have a d distaste for Solstice as of right now. Oh yes, uh, don't we all? People. I just wanted to make sure that specific information that happened at this tea party, although not, uh, not a secret. I don't want wish it to be spread like gossip. And I do not wish for him to know and become al allied with people that I don't like. As much as Solstice is my friend, um, be because he is my friend, I am well aware that he is incredibly impulsive. Whatever is said at the tea party will stay within the people who have heard it. Wonderful. I will hold you to that. Of course. That goes for anyone here. Now, I, uh... 
I guess it's uh, a lead into a secret is that I was given a book from the lore keeper. Now, how credible this source mm. is. Yeah. It contained the origins of many of many a curse um, that happens to us here uh, in within my realm and yours. Um, I guess my secret is that I plan to have Zip executed. Oh. And I would hope that you stand with me on this. I've already talked to Princess Coral. Um, I've given her a timeline to either amend the problem and he serve a different sentence, but um, it was found out that he was creating nether portals. Oh, oh my. And so he must be punished at the highest law of the nether. However, I don't think he should be punished at the highest law for just that. In this book, there was a helm. The Black Serpent Helm. Now, I am of the opinion it does not excuse his behavior, but it, however, does explain his behavior should he have ever threatened anyone or not acted... <sighs> He, we all know Zip runs with a an arrogance. However, I believe when he wears this helm, he becomes dangerously arrogant, confident, stronger even. And oh. it was something that was asked of me, was to not kill him, but instead relieve him of this helm. It was... It is made of netherite. And I worried that the enchantment that this helmet has to subdue this black serpent uh, is wearing. So I would be willing to provide an additional helmet with enchantments. Hopefully the same. Uh, I might need your assistance on finding more information regarding it. Uh, to find out if this helmet did, in fact, have specific enchantments so that I can replicate it exactly. Yeah. The other option... Um, is that why Princess Carl is absent today? Does she know about this? I'm not sure why she's absent. Um, as okay. I gave her this ultimatum and she came to a sleepover that I hosted the next day. So I don't think coming to public events is right. outside of the realm, but if she is caught up in her research or her planning of this, then that may be why. What is her view on the situation? How does she respond? Um, I said that I required him to be turned over, which she huh. agreed that he should be properly uh, punished for his crime, and he under she understands that he broke the law. Well. However, I don't know how much information she knew about this helmet, and so if she was is looking to rectify it. Using the nether portals as well as creating them. How would he get this helmet in the first place? That, uh, that actually was not be a, the nether. He didn't create the okay. comet. It was passed down to him. Right. Which is well. why I'm not the happiest. Um, oh, understandable. I am of the assumption that Coral didn't know this helm was being passed down through families. However, I don't know how long it's been passed down, and I don't know how much this dormant ancient entity has been 
gaining strength via these knight captains. Again, I want to say that she didn't know. However, I have no proof to say that she didn't. She is working with me, and I hope that she can work with us. Because I don't know if this is something that I can do on my own. Yes, well, I, if someone from another kingdom broke winter law, I would be in the same boat as you. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I mean, um, you've helped the Glau kingdom, um, so we are at your service as well. Actually, I have a secret. Hmm. A secret Maholia might know as well. Right, Mahalia? Um, I'm... I... You might have to elaborate. You've been hiding fugitives, haven't you? Um... What? Fugitives. You know what I'm talking about. I... I, I'm afraid I, I I don't know what you're talking about. Is this a recent development? Because Maholia has not yet taken back up her throne and Annabelle still reigns as head. No, uh, this is not recent. Maholia, one of the elves was on Winterland and murdered my sister in cold blood five years ago. And Maholia has not yet answered to this elf's crimes. Have you, Maholia? Uh... I, I, I apologize, I didn't... I didn't know... I wasn't don't aware... Don't give me that! You, you do know! You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't play dumb with me. I will if... say, Lorelia, and I don't wish to avert blame as Maholia uh, was the reigning princess. However, it has come to my attention within the last few months that um, Chancellor Kano tends to act on his own accord and um, has been since uh, reprimanded for doing so but I can imagine him withholding this information from Maholia if it was to come to his attention first she no no know. Maholia knows what I'm talking about certain elf by the name of Andrew oh um I don't know what elf named Andrew. Of, of course you do! This- he murdered! He was on winter land and murdered my sister in cold blood and left her in the forest to die. I- did- Well, was- how do you know that his name is Andrew? That's- he told me. He- well, how did he tell you? I cat he was locked in my dungeon and somehow he's escaped, so now he's a fugitive and you are hiding fugitives. I... Do we have confirmation that he is back in the Elven Kingdom? She is responsible, but if he is on the run, we, we can find him and rectify it. Hmm. Well, I am not sure if he has been back to the Elven Kingdom because I myself have not seen him since, but I am assuming that's where he would have gone because that's where he's from. But I mean, if he's a wanted man, I don't think he'd go back to his home because I feel like um, if Maholia knows this, then she would take action. I don't think she would knowingly house a fugitive 
Hmm, well, I guess that's a question for Maholia's character and morals. If I bring you this fugitive, mm -hmm. would that repair any tension you have between me? For our relationship to remain civil, you will bring me his head in two days. Un uh, understood. I think I will do that right now, then. And by the I way, know. that village you've been hiding out, you better not step foot back on Winterland until I have his head. I know you've been hiding there. You will not step foot back on Winterland until I have his head. Under understood. Okay. Great. Hey. Listen. <sighs> if. Are, are you okay? Yeah. Princess Lorelia. Um. If she doesn't know who Andrew is and doesn't I'm, know. I am sure Andrew she is, knows. I, there is but no if way. She doesn't. How is she gonna bring his head in two days? I mean, that's her problem. I really don't want a bad relationship with the elves, Lorelia. They started this, not me. I have friends there. Yes, I know, but they started this, not me, and they can answer for their crimes. I will have justice for my sister. If one of your siblings were murdered by another kingdom, wouldn't you feel the same? I mean, your feeling is totally I... justifiable being angry. Yes. I could never For fathom sure. losing a sibling, but I know the rage that boils within my gut, that hell be set ablaze. I do not fault you for your anger. It, it makes... However, it ma I am of the opinion, like I said, there are many things that Chancellor Kano keeps from Maholia. He knew that Annabelle was going to say something at the ball. He didn't tell her, which left Maholia to stand there looking dumbfounded and embarrassed to the point where she did something reckless. And I'm not excusing that. I am just saying I will work with her to find out well, where this is. I think is. she knows more than what you're giving her credit for. And maybe she does. I think maybe she's I'm being played a fool, but cunning. I won't know. And I think she's a liar. I don't trust her. And I don't think you should either. I think you should second guess all of the conversations you've had with her. See, um, well, um, if, if I may, how do we know that this Andrew character was telling the truth about who they are? I'll know him when I see him. If she does well, not bring me the correct head, I will know. And, and we're sure he was from the Elven Kingdom? Like... Positive. I I know an elf when I see one. But will she? I think you guys are underestimating her. I think she knows exactly what she's doing and she's playing you all for fools. I trust your judgment, so... Thank you. Well, I support you in your decision with Captain Ziff. I hope you support me in mine about my sister. I do. I will let you know, however, that 
I, w I am signing a peace, no, not peace treaty. I am signing an allyship with the Elven Kingdom. <sighs> putting on paper what we have. So I will assist you in any way that I can that does not break that alliance. Have you signed this treaty yet? No. Well, I think you should be from one princess to another. You should read it carefully and consider exactly what it is you are agreeing to. I have. There are already things I wish to change, which is why I haven't signed it yet. I, yeah, I encourage you to get advice yeah, as I'm well. Fine. Okay. Well, I trust your judgment. Thank you. Thank you all for attending. I uh, apologize it got a bit emotional and heated at the end. It is a tea but... party. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> well, um, before I depart, um, in regards to Ziff, I don't know what is going to be happening. I don't know if it's going to be a trial or an execution. However, I may call upon you guys in case he is a lot stronger than the book has led him to be. How? That he's strong, but I don't. Uh, this uh, black serpent in its full form has said to demolish cities. Oh. Lands. So... With wave, Why is... waves and that. Um, Why however... is this the first I'm hearing of this? Despite how arrogant he was, it is said that he didn't know he was being possessed, and it is only as of recent information that he himself is finding this out. Which is why I said it does not excuse his behavior, but it does explain it. I am of the opinion that if he does know, then death is probably the best, as he would be a traitor. I would be suspicious of that. Mm -hmm. I would if definitely he doesn't know, question then... that. Relieving him of this helmet is what is needed to happen. But, um, I, like I said, I don't know how long this serpent has been gathering power within its human form. I don't know when he decides to return, but I know he, according to the book and information that I have learned from credible sources, his power does grow and he does aim to eradicate enemies. Enemies? Well, I think that's anyone his soul, then? Well, does it drain his soul, then? Because it needs um, to consume something. I wouldn't doubt it. Right. Which okay. means that should I get my hands on him, I don't think he can be resurrected. No. I think if he's dead, he's dead. Um, but that is the last resort. I'd rather get a new helmet on him or get it away from him and put it in the deep in the pits of the lava. <laughs> yes. Um, well, I support you. I will and support you in any way that I can as well. I'm thank sorry you. about your loss. I did not know. I don't think many people did. And um, Rain, she was the one I was speaking about. That was once revived. Yes. Well, um, I will support you in any way that I can as well. Um, same for you. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. Oh, um, Rain. Uh, yes. Quickly before I go as well. Your mm -hmm. conversation the other day. Uh, I apologize. With... On behalf of him. Ah. Yes. Um, thank you for that. It's been a lot to take in. It is something that is required. But he did not need to remind you in that moment. So, I 
what I apologize for. Thank you. He has been reprimanded. Thank you. It was a lovely tea party. Thank you for it's inviting lovely me. I hope candies. to have another one. <laughs> me too. I'm all carve one. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Um, I will maybe without Mahalia. I will depart and see you. Excuse me. Oh, thank you for yes. coming. I will. May I walk you back to the waster? Yes. Yep. Thank you. I hope to see you again shortly. I'm glad Galaxy is doing all right. Yes, of course, and uh, if you need anything, just reach out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What the heck just happened? What was that? What? Oh my oh. gosh! What just happened? I... Well, yeah, I, I mean, I was... Before you, you all, well, discussed about your matters, I did... I was about to go up and say maybe the knight should probably have... Leave you, leave you folks with some privacy. But some I'm sort. glad you didn't, <laughs> because it got well, real heated. I, I mean, as much as heat go, as much as heat goes. I, mean, he, ah. I just cannot believe that. That's like, uh, and Mahalia seemed like she didn't understand, like didn't know what was going on. No, I don't think so. Like, she looked very confused, and I don't... I, I mean, I don't know all the elves, but I... But I feel like a princess would know her people, so if Maholia doesn't know this person, how does uh, Lorelia know that... that that person is even an elf? Like, just because they have elf ears does not mean they're part of yeah. this elven kingdom. That's like That's my point, isn't it? That's my point, isn't it? If the, if the ruler doesn't know their people... And then someone else claims to be from that kingdom. Uh, kingdom. Are they really telling the truth? In some, in some sort? That's right. Mm -hmm. That is right. Just because they look like that does not mean that they are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I mean, whatever it is, like, whatever it is, for the benefit of the kingdom, just know whatever your whatever your command is, I'll support you. Thank you, Nimbus. I'll be at the ready. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah. While we're on the topic, I I need to talk to you on a mm -hmm. serious matter. Um, yeah, sure. Since sure. you and Cirrus are my most trusted um, people, I need to tell you so that you are prepared for any anything that may happen so um let's go up to the meeting room all right sure thing I just... so um as you know galaxy's been revived yes i did hear that from the uh from uh Estelle. yes um mm -hmm. i galaxy and Estelle are the only two that well them and whoever was there really and princess morgan because they knew before me but um this is not leave this room and i will tell cirrus uh, once she is back um okay okay so i don't need to update her i'll just i'll just yeah. let you update I, her I, will, I will okay. update her because this will come as a a shock Okay. Um, cool. So, it's it's not really public knowledge, and I I just found out myself. So, if I had known before, I would have told you guys. All right. When we went to revive Galaxy, mm -hmm. I had had been blackmailed. Say what? Yeah. Blackmail. Blackmailed by the advisor of the Nether Kingdom. And he what? was he was after a book. I don't know if you've seen his wings. Wings? 
What you, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold on a second. What? Why? Why are you? Uh, is it, why are you in particular getting blackmailed by them? Uh, why is it? Well, like I said, his wings are white seraph wings. Okay. And as you can tell from Princess Morgan's wings, those are completely different. Yes. Than ours. Yes. And yes. he has white seraph wings. Which is the okay. color of royalty. Yes. In the Seraph but Kingdom. Aren't you techni but aren't you technically in line for the throne? Already? You are technically already. I, I, I am already. currently in the throne, yes. But um yes. he had been he sent me a message about the truth of my lineage, basically my heritage. He okay. said that my uncle was a bad man, which I don't know what he was talking about, because other than Estelle and Galaxy's father, I, we never really met him. We were too young when he died. He died when... Okay. He died after my father, and... Mm -hmm. um, it... it <sighs> Take your time. Uh, don't worry, your highness. Take your time. Thank no you. need to rush through all things. Just it's, take your time. It's uh, still taking some time to get my mind wrapped around it. But So I, I met with this advisor Okay. of the Nether. Um, Fang right. is, I believe, what they said his name was. And he, um, he said that if I didn't get him this book on the past royalty, the past royal family, which would have been my parents, that okay. um, he would send withers to the Cloud Kingdom. And that if I had told anybody, he would basically destroy the Cloud Kingdom. Um, so I didn't tell anybody for a long time. And I searched and searched for this book, and finally mm -hmm. Estelle confronted me. Um, mm -hmm. because I had been acting off, giving everything with Galaxy and the blackmailing, it, it was, and then the end, it was a lot to handle. And, okay. um, yep. um, we found the book that he requested and it said that the firstborn child of the king and queen was a boy. Right. And so. I thought I was the firstborn child of the king and queen. The only child of the king and queen. So I was quite confused as to why he would want this book. And I, I didn't uh, really put it together. But I went. Right. To so. Yeah, go on. Sorry. We went to the end to revive Galaxy. And he pulled me aside because when we did the ritual to bring back Galaxy, all the princesses had to throw in a valuable object. So I threw in the last plushie that my mom had given me before she died. And it didn't work. So Fang pulled me aside and told me the truth. That he is the baby that the book spoke of and that he would have been the rightful heir to the throne instead of me, that I am not the king and queen's daughter. I am the daughter of the, of someone related to the king and queen. I don't know if, if the queen had a brother or if the king had a brother. I, he just said he'd met my uncle and I, I would assume he meant someone other than Galaxy and Estelle's father. But basically, he said that I was adopted. And... Right. Okay. He basically what? says okay. that he has claim to the throne. Right. Okay. So... Right. So... Based on all that that you shared, I have a few things to, to question. One... If that individual is so sure 
to be the next heir to the throne before yourself. Where has he been for the past few months? Well, he... when the kingdom was without an heir, he was, he was, um, he was banished long ago. He said, um, and then he had r ran away to the um, the Nether Kingdom, and well, was there any? Well, was there any reason that he was banished for? He didn't because tell me all the specifics. A reason, well, if someone was to be banished, it would mean that they would have done something bad, which would have meant that they probably weren't that qualified to rule in the first place. I know, and Estelle Your and Highness, I... Your Highness, you, Your Highness, we, you have been here since uh, since the tragedy happened. All right, you built back this kingdom to what what it once was, when it was down at its lowest point. You were there. Every single time, through the lowest points and the highest points, you were all, always there. How could you say suddenly that someone else is more worthy of the throne than you? I, I'm not you saying you were there since day one. I'm not saying that they're worth more worthy than I am. I, I just feel like a fraud. I, I. You don't have to. You don't have to. Listen, you were here since day one. All right. We all looked to you. We all looked to you, and you built back this kingdom to what it once was. If they want to throw widows at us, so be it. They'll take it over my dead body. Thank you, Nimbus. Yeah. I appreciate your support. And yeah. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm tired of standing by. He wants no. the book that I gave him that said this, this stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. had pages ripped out. And he thinks that the pages are somewhere around the kingdom. When it took forever to find that book, so, I'm going to try to find these pages and see what they say. I don't know well, what, what, what. Well, where would that book, where would all those pages be scattered? Would they just be scattered around here or would I, they just... I don't know. Because the book was hidden in like a secret little chamber down on the first floor into the, in the cloud. So, I don't know if there's more pockets there into was, the cloud. Mm, there's, a, there's a secret chamber? Um. Yeah, here. Follow me. But the thing is, uh, it's been, uh, I still haven't quite wrapped my brain around it that he's trying to do this, but I don't want to stand idly by anymore. I don't. No. Yeah, and, I understand. I totally understand. Yeah, and yes. I'm, I'm going to do research. Estelle and I are doing research about rules of like if you're banished from the kingdom i feel like you shouldn't be able to rule in general you should lose your right no not because at all. obviously you broke you... the rules mm -hmm. that are laid in place for a reason yeah exactly and even if you weren't banished where were you for the past three months when we uh when we all came back when we yeah. all came back you were there you were here you were here since day one yeah all right and i know that i took a griefcation i i know that but, mm -hmm. I mean, that was understandable because my mother, or who I thought was my mother, the lady that raised me, had died. I had lost her. And it's just a lot. It's down there. Wait. Wait, there's a... Huh. This is where we found it. It was just in here with some... Crumpled up pieces of paper, some paper, some glass bottles, and some dried saplings. So what makes him think that the the missing pages will be around here? I mean, there's only one paper, unless it's it's fell it fell its way down through the clouds and onto the ground. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why he thinks such a thing. You know, because it's oh sorry, uh, it's not as if. I mean, unless there's more pockets in the cloud that's hidden around where I would assume my mother, I don't even know to call her that. I mean, she raised me, but he's also trying to say that the king was a bad man, that my father, his father, whatever, was a bad man and that he wasn't as good. And he thought that the, the rule of us not flying in the rain was stupid. 
And mm. I, I tried to stand back. I, tr I tried to not stand back, to stand up to him. And he, we got interrupted by Princess Morgan. She came up okay. and, and that's why she was apologizing for how he did it. She said it, it needed okay. to come out because I, he did to promise me the truth. He promised me the truth, and I got him the book that I could know the truth. Okay. Sadly, it came right. out in a way where all princesses knew, because then he had to complete the ritual to bring Galaxy back. Well. Hmm. So. I don't know. Look, okay. Just take a step back, because your highness. Like. You see that right there? You see that? That was your throne. That's your throne. Right there. Your throne. No one else. Alright? Look, anyone look, anyone can say that they come they can come here. They, they can come to threaten our kingdom with whether it's wardens, whatever or whatever it may be. Alright? Truth is, you were here since day one. I've said it before and I've said it, I'll say it again. You were here since day one. You ruled you, you ruled when we were at our lowest and you built it up. Back, back to where it is right now. Not perfect, but we're still getting back up there. All right, you don't have to do this alone. You got Thank me, Estelle, Galaxy, and everyone else. Thank you. I know that they. I know they'll be there for you. I know. Thank you, and I know mm -hmm. Estelle said that even if the kingdom is destroyed, she she reminded me that if that you know. This kingdom is not the castle or the clouds or anything. It is the people. And mm -hmm. as yep. long as I have you guys, as long as I have the subjects, I will protect them with my life. And mm -hmm. and we'll find a different place. We'll find a different cloud. If this kingdom is destroyed, we'll build it back up again. He can come exactly. here and rule an empty castle if he wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can do that. But Who's he, gonna follow? Yeah, he no won't one. have any people. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Thank if you. he if he truly was the ruler, he'd be here since day one. Where was he after the Greek patient when we all came back? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. And obviously, he's been in the Nether for years because I don't remember him. I mm -hmm. I remember when I was really little that someone lived in the castle, but. I don't remember who that was. I I was too small. So he's he's been gone for a long time. At well, least whatever. I, I don't know. A hmm. long time. I hmm. just it's a lot. But thank you yeah. for for your support. I understand. I understand. I I understand that it's been a lot going on, uh, especially uh, especially for you, and especially the kingdom. We've been trying uh, we've been trying to build up from day one. Yeah. But what I can say is that with everyone around, you know, alone, you got us, right? Thank you. We're here for the kingdom. Whatever it is, they can take it from a dead hands. Thank you, Nimbus. I will tell Cirrus the news as soon as she is back, too. Um, because I feel like it should come from me that okay. people find out. Because I don't know, with that gossip column coming around, I hope that it that no one puts it in that. Because, I mean, even though all the princes were at the ritual, I don't think they understood why Fang threw in an item. I think they were all just kind of in their own head, their own space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, they don't truly understand. It, it doesn't seem. I just don't. And if they start questioning, that's why I want the book to back the proof that that Fang doesn't have a right to the throne. He hasn't been here, and he was banished. And I feel like. If you're banished, you shouldn't be able to rule a kingdom. If I was exactly. banished, like like he was, say that the roles are reversed and mm -hmm. he he was the adopted one and I was the rightful heir and I was banished. Mm 
I wouldn't expect to come back to a, a kingdom and be, you know, just because the person that banished you is dead does not mean that the banishment does not still stand. And you think any of us are going to welcome uh, welcome someone who threatens an, uh, threatens another kingdom with withers? Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want to say that because I don't... I don't think that Princess Morgan... I don't know if she had anything to do with it. Like, I... She may have. I could be wrong, but she seems... She, she helped us with the galaxy. So I'm conflicted. I'm, I'm very conflicted by her. And I think right now we owe the Nether Kingdom a favor. Because okay. they never named their price for helping us get Galaxy back. So we just have to all be right. we have to be on our toes. We have to we have to be aware at all times. So I wanted you to know this so that we can better protect the kingdom. You and I think mm -hmm. Because uh, I want to host a ball to welcome Galaxy back, okay. officially, once she gets okay. over her. Um, well, not really gets over it, but after she feels a bit better. And okay. I want to host a ball in her honor. And I think after that, we start bringing up the walls. We have an outline for you them. I think we need to, to secure this place. Se Sounds about right. We, we have to do something. So... Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go take a nap because I'm exhausted and I did not sleep. <laughs> All right. We'll so, do, Your Highness. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, just thank you, Nimbus. No worries, Your Highness. You've been a great knight and a great friend for most of my thank life. You. So. Uh, I'll continue trying to do that. Thank you. Thanks. Good night. Your Highness. Yes? Shall I train the people going forward? Yes, that's actually probably a really good idea. But we we're not backing down. Yeah, we not should. We should probably. Maybe not fight to the death, but we should probably use the battle arena. Maybe not Galaxy. Maybe don't train her in there. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we don't train in there at all. Maybe we'll. Maybe we'll. <laughs> it's. It's. Maybe we'll build another training area with like. Yeah. dummies and stuff um no but yes we'll be prepared we should do that good idea yep. thank you mm -hmm. have a good rest your highness thank you nimbus <sighs> oh my gosh that was exhausting Nimbus is right. He, they, I have an army of people behind me. All the support I could ever need. All the support. And I'm not going to back down. I won't back down. Stratus is my home. And whether I am the rightful heir or not, I won't stand this. I won't stand someone threatening my kingdom. And I won't back down. These are my people. 